Greetings, Flatlanders. We're out fishing again. We're already to the way in a tournament for the uh, Triport Ladies Fishing Tournament. We had a good day today. There's a lot of fish coming in and uh, some pretty big ones. We're gonna show you what we've got going on right here, right now on Flatlanders. Well, this event is a women's fishing tournament and it's actually a fundraiser for Susan G. Coleman for The Cure. Uh, we had 28 boats out on the lake fishing today, which was probably 90 to 100 girls fishing. And uh, this is our second year for the event. And we're here at the wrap up party where we have a band and we're feeding everybody and we'll do awards here before too long. Well, the ladies fished today, this morning from 6.30 to 12.30, then brought their fish here to the weigh-in and award ceremony where they weighed them all in. We're gonna be announcing the winners shortly. Uh, entry fees and donations and sponsorships all 49. helped to raise money for Susan G. Coleman. Right now, everybody's getting ready to eat a great lunch and um, then have a raffle and then the prizes. We've also got a band playing in the background, so there's live entertainment here for everybody to really have a good time. And we have all kinds of ladies from South Haven that like to fish and participate. So it's a wonderful, wonderful event for us to come here in Saugatuck, bring the ladies and bring the fish. We had Tom Stagman, who was our captain on the helm top side, Tim Stagman, who was running all our lines and helping us try to figure out whether, and then he had his first mate, Rob, and it made it a lot easier on us women. Of course, we didn't have to do any ooey gooey stuff, but if we wanted to, they gave us hands on. So we had total um, comfortable zone on where we wanted to be, whether we wanted to just reel them in and net them, or get down in the dirty, dirty, we could do whatever we wanted. Well, the experience for me on fishing in the tournament was my first time, so it was phenomenally fun, and we were catching fish left and right, and I learned a lot. It was a lot of fun. Hang on. Right. Ah. Oh, get under it. Ah. Yeah, I need him closer. Back, you got back off. I can't see him up in the there back. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you. Oh, yeah. He's Whoa! Look at that bad boy. Yeah, you did good. I had a wonderful time. It was actually my first time doing a tournament. And. The company was even better than just the fishing. To reel in the fish was an adrenaline rush. To get it on the boat was even higher of an adrenaline rush. And to have it for a breast cancer cause, to be able to do this was amazing. Nice. I told you I knew how to net. Well, I've done a lot on the lake. I, I'm a sailor by trade. I've scuba dived. This is the first time I actually did um, any type of competition and or any kind of downrigging fishing. So for me, the first time, it was exhilarating. It was a lot of fun. It was almost like rounding a mark at a big finish at a race. Just let him run. Let him run? Oh, I think he's bigger than mine. Go as far back as you can. Okay. Roll it right there. Oh, oh, it was huge, Becky. The boating industry in South Haven is terrific. We have 1,400 boat slips. About half of those are fishermen. We have one of the top fishing sites in the month of May and June, and it's just fantastic. And it brings in all kinds of sportsmen, people from all over the world come to fish out of South Haven. caught lots of fish and big fish too so the girls are really happy. Last year we had 55 girls fish on 15 boats. This year we have 28 boats and I guess uh, probably 90 to 100 girls participated. We know that there's uh, an area that needs to be addressed that requires a lot of money 
and it's actually a lot of fun because when you have a good cause, people will come out for it. And it's very easy to do your fundraising and people will come out and support it. It promotes all the towns, it's not only South Haven, but Saugatuck and Holland. Show that there's good fishing in all of them. All the people get to meet one another from each town, so you build a little camaraderie. Well, anytime you do anything for that kind of a cause, breast cancer awareness does uh, bring it back to home for us women, along with the uh, opportunity to um, have fun for a good cause, gives you that double warm feeling. So it was, it was um, definitely um, something I would try and do again. Fishing is my passion. And then uh, help supporting cancer of any type is also a passion of mine. So doing both of those together was like the biggest high of the day. Well, if you've never done this before and this is your first time, I'd say go for it. It was absolutely my first time and my daughter's and um, get some guys that have some experience and I walk you through it. Like we had a great team and and enjoy the time out there. The weather was phenomenally great. We didn't have a lot of waves and we were able to fish on. Well, watching my daughter reel in a fish was fun and watching her net all day was cool. And being with her was um, a lot of fun and we had a great time. I mean, there's lots of laughters and I'd definitely do it again. Weird. I loved it. It was weird because my mom normally doesn't fish. And her to, do, her to actually schedule all this made a stronger bond, I believe, between us. Watch for us on Facebook for Triport Ladies Fishing Tournament. This event will run again next year, and you can find us there. Click on us and like us so we can get the word out. And we've got the championship boats, the championship fishermen from South Haven. They're all here, and they transported their catch, and I'm sure we're going to be number one in this tournament. <laughs>